Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from 1001 Sandwiches of 1936, we're going to be making the corn sandwich. Naturally enough, the first thing we have to do is saute some onions. It makes sense if you don't think about it. Now we add in canned corn. And while that cooks slightly, we combine butter and flour. Then we add that to the pan. Now we add tomato juice, salt, pepper, cayenne pepper. And no, it didn't say how much on any of those. And now we're to simmer until thick. Now we pour that over buttered bread. And that's about as thick as it's going to get. It's been going for a while. Okay, let's give this corn sandwich a go. It's fine. Corn, onion, a little bit of a tomato sauce. The, the cayenne pepper and the black pepper and salt, very nice. Uh, yeah, I do think we can plus this up a little. I'm going to add a little cumin, a little cilantro, squeeze a lime, and a top piece of bread. Okay, let's give this corn sandwich plussed up with cumin, cilantro, squeeze a lime, and a top layer of bread. A go. Mmm. Mmm. Much better. So the original corn sandwich, I know it's basically a corn and tomato sauce poured over bread. Doesn't technically meet the uh, requirements of a sandwich, but it was in 1001 Sandwiches, so I'm going to do it. Uh, it was not bad flavor-wise. It was pretty okay. So I'm going to give that a five and a half. Plussed up with the cumin, cilantro, and lime, and another piece of bread. That's like a seven and a half. That is very, very tasty. I'm definitely gonna finish that, and I'm probably gonna do a recipe remix, because I wanna figure out how to make these flavors work in a sandwich, because it is tasty. All right, see you tomorrow. No, wait, you know what, hold on. Um, you know what, let's just go ahead and do the remix now. So for our version, uh, about two tablespoons of diced white onion and a tablespoon of butter. We're also gonna add a little salt, eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, quarter teaspoon of cumin. So I'll take that until soft. Now we add in our corn, turn up the heat to get some color on it. Now I'm going to caramelize some uh, tomato paste. And when you caramelize tomato paste, it gets kind of smoky. And that's going to be kind of a sauce for us in a little bit. Now we're going to add a little salt. And to get more sauce-like, we're going to add a little bit of water. Okay, now we're going to make a batter. And I'm using a recipe that Jacques Pepin shared on his Facebook page. It's basically a half cup flour, three quarters of a teaspoon of baking powder. And then add in sparkling water a little bit at a time. Okay, now we add a cup of our onion corn mixture. Then we fry it up in some oil for about three minutes each side. For our recipe remix, we're using a hamburger bun. I'm going to put QP mayo on both sides. Onto a wire direct cool, a little hidden with a little salt. To build our recipe remix corn sandwich, put in one of these uh, corn patties. Our caramelized tomato paste, cilantro, and lime juice. This bun was in the freezer, so it looks a little wonky. Don't like throwing out bread, what can I say? Much easier to handle, I'll say that. Let's give this uh, recipe remixed corn sandwich a go. The flavors are all there. Okay, so here's the deal. I just made that recipe up. I didn't test it beforehand at all. Um, there's some things I'd probably do a little bit different. Obviously, I'd, I'd get a bun that didn't have freezer burn. Um, but I'd also make more of a tempura batter and uh, probably do thinner corn cakes. I'd also probably add in some Fresno chilies or some jalapenos with the corn and the onions as well, because I think that would be a nice touch. But, this is delicious. It is a bit of a nap coming on, but it is delicious. I love all the flavors in the smoky tomato, the brightness of the cilantro and the lime, uh, the richness of the uh, kewpie mayo, and then of course corn and onions and cumin. And then it definitely has a little bit of a kick from the cayenne pepper, so that's nice too. If I'm gonna rate this, I'm gonna probably rate this about a six and a half, maybe seven. I think if I did those changes to it, it'd probably bring it up to like a nine, nine and a half. It is a tasty combination, and it's something I do want to revisit in the future. But for now, I'm going to finish that. All right. See you tomorrow. Walking around the corner. Here I come. Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today, from 1001 Sandwiches of 1936, we're going to be making the corn sandwich. Ha 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 ha!